as uh, that actress Diane Thorn unapologetically conveys with each terrible torture bit makes this a jaw dropping exploitation adventure wicked warden is my favorite of the series for a couple of reasons first of all Jess Franco not one of my favorites and not a great one for telling an understandable story obviously enjoys stringing together horrible moment of torture and violence his approach surprisingly effective here is to provide a context for what's going on and the context is enough the prison is elsa's own private fun house what she does is for her own pleasure period unlike don edmunds Franco understand this kind of movie. He start with Ilsa and filter the punishment down through the rank. Ilsa's brand of immoral hedonism turns the entire prison into an S and M club where inmate use love and humiliation as currency Franco knows how to stage scenes with pins and plastic bag played lucky and with simple means this stuff gets to you it seems like the movie is constantly crossing the line and what we are watching is real which of course it's not but franco's straight forward unashamed voyeuristic style transcend the silliness inherent in material like this and gives it a weird kind of weight sometimes you can hardly watch what's going on but you can't take your eyes off of it either the other element at work here is the great Diane Thorn who in my mind is a terrific actress as bigger performance as her Ilsa is there is not a hint of parody that would be the easy way out for any actress playing such a despicable role thorn plays it straight you believe that Ilsa's life is worth living because of what she does in this prison her gestures are grand but her playing is internal she shares elsa's dark and primal joy with the viewer that's what makes this movie still sort of difficult today Elsa's not kidding and Diane Thorn drive this movie with an unbeatable force If this movie had been made in the 1940s Thorn would have emerged a big star Retitled Elsa the Wicked Warden and released as the third in the infamous Elsa exploitation series featuring Busty Diane Thorn 
This movie from prolific director Jess Franco Boss despite the excessive sleaze and gratuitous nudity on offer in an unspecified South American country political prisoners are being committed to a maximum security asylum where they are tortured for information by the sadistic warden whilst being who has mysteriously disappeared abby must endure suffering and degradation at the hand of the inmate and staff before she can eventually discover the truth less violent than previous elsa movies but easily just as sleazy this film is heavy on the sadism poison and nudity all franco specialities and yet somehow it still manages to drag franco's awful direction and the overall low standard of acting certainly doesn't help matters however if you can endure the dreary part there are some priceless moment that make the effort worthwhile lina romay's performance as joanna elsa's masochistic lesbian bitch is particularly unforgettable i guarantee that your jaw will hit the floor during the lick my body scene also worthy of mention is the scene in which elsa kills abby's sister with the old plastic bag over the head routine the shocking finale sees the warden set upon by the inmate led by joanna who can no longer put up with elsa's wicked ways the long suffering inmate literally tear her to pieces biting and ripping her with hand and teeth all the while being filmed by the movie making god who get to deliver his potentially most profitable work so far a snuff film so i wouldn't say that elsa is exactly a good film i was still quite surprised by how it managed to hold my interest throughout not that it made particularly inspired use of the various a top and undeniably horrific conclusion but it was certainly above average for an owen detrick production with adequate scenery an evocative if repetitive score and competent performances the dialogue of the german language version however was pretty hilarious the various odd to greta elsa recited by the inmate the sanitation official who arrived for a surprise inspection complaining that the rumors of the supposedly corrupt management inside the prison are unfounded for obvious reasons makes it sound even worse i haven't seen the original elsa films but while dian thorn seemed to be relatively 
actively at ease in inhabiting the jazz franco movie world i also feel that her character was pretty one dimensional and not really the main focus of the film lena romay on the other hand has a lot of fun with one of her better roles even tanya buselia seem to have matured somewhat and here makes for a creditable heroine for whom Franco boldly resolve on unexpected tragic fate though this was perhaps done so as not to involve her in the films cannibalistic climax unfortunately this addition was cut by more than 2 minute by the bbfc the death by a spikeion of rosa phillips was evidently trimmed as it now occur in a split second i may be wrong but i reckon that the remainder of the censored footage involved the lobotomy perform on the tanya buselia character as her sudden appearance as a vegetable is most jarring anyway i look forward now to renting and watching another of franco's notorious women in prison films for detrick namely bab wire dolls elsa the wicked warden is not the most disturbing brutal or violent of the infamous series but it is by far the sleaziest dependently twisted slockmeister jess franco this is up enough nastiness violence romance nudity and sleaze for a dozen average exploit your cast and a lot of women behind bars without men this is a so-so and extremely sadistic film with lots of graphical violence rape lesbianism and naked women sadist scenes and sleaziness abound in this below average women in prison movie from o- uncle jazz with a lot of eroticism and gory frames at the beginning an unfortunate girl escape but is mercilessly chased by the most dreaded pursuers after the mysterious disappearance of her sister a desperate young woman goes undercover to infiltrate ruthless warden elsa's mental health facility for the deviant women elsa now a vicious warden runs a mental hospital for young girls a girl deliberately checks into the hospital to find out what has happening herself meanwhile elsa and one of the guard and an abusive prisoner are forcing the inmate to have love she is the most dreaded warden of them all and she will stop at nothing to get her puppet and at whatever means things go wrong for elsa when eventually prisoner stage an uprising that in famous elsa woman is back her pre- this film is not 
recommended for the sensitive or squeamies apprehended and handed over to the custody of the local prison warden and jail warden as it really is in all its raw realism due to the subject matter of this film only the very mature will be admitted one soul hunger to touch another whisper to your friend you saw it this is an extremely controversial movie in fact it reminded band in several countries this agreeable movie with lots of nudism and lesbianism stars the naughty Diane Thorne as the evil warden Ilsa Ogreta enjoying the female prisoners and torturing women Diane Thorne saw as a villain warden who ruled the institution with an iron fist mistreating inmate plot is incidental to violence as ilsa is a really villainous and heinous warden carrying out grisly criminal act mistreating and torturing here the sinister entertainment is watching as the torture loving ilsa runs a medical hospital by using all kinds tortures mistreating performing unspeakable horrors this is below average and extremely sadistic film with lots of graphic go violence guts and naked women produced in short budget by Arvind Dietrich the motion picture was loosely directed by Jess Frank with lots of skin and no acting providing a boring flick in low budget with plenty of shortfalls failures flaws and gaps venture Wicked Warden is my favorite of the series for a couple of reasons. First of all, Jess Franco, not one of my favorites and not a great one for telling an understandable story. Obviously enjoys stringing together horrible moment of torture and violence his approach surprisingly effective here is to provide a context for what's going on and the context is enough the prison is elsa's own private fun house what she does is for her own pleasure period unlike don admonds franco understand this kind of movie he start with ilsa and filter the punishment down through the rank ilsa's brand of immoral hedonism turns the entire prison into an ins and plastic bag played lucky and with simple means this stuff gets to you it seems like the movie is constantly crossing the line and what we are watching is real which of course it's not but franco's straight forward an assumed voyeuristic style 
transcend the silliness inherent in material like this and gives it a weird kind of weight. Sometimes you can hardly watch what's going on. But you can't take your eyes off of it either. The other element at work here is the great Diane Thorn, who in my mind is a terrific actress. As big a performance as her Ilsa is, there is not a hint of parody. That would be the easy way out for any actress playing such a despicable role. Thorn plays it straight. You believe that Ilsa's life is worth living because of what she does in this prison. Her gestures are grand. But her playing is internal. She shares Elsa's dark and primal joy with the viewer. That's what makes this movie still sort of difficult today. Elsa's not kidding and Diane Thorne drive this movie with an 